Yo, what's up everybody? This is William from Before the Billions back with another video. Hope you guys are doing well today. So today I wanted to talk about this article and this tweet that I saw about how computer science majors are graduating into a world of fewer opportunities. So let's go ahead and get into the video and discuss uh, what is being said. And then also at the end, I wanna hear what you guys think about this video and if you liked it as well. So let's go ahead and let me share my screen. So this is the tweet that I saw here. Um, you guys have probably seen me react to a few of the tweets from the random recruiter. Yeah, so very great content over there on Twitter or slash X. He also has a newsletter that you can check out as well that I am subscribed to. So I think he gives a great amount of game and knowledge uh, through a lot of his posts. Let's go ahead and read through what he says. He says, this is probably one of the toughest environments to get hired right after college in a long time. My best piece of advice, don't just rely on job applications. Get proactive. Reach out to the job posters, build your GitHub and portfolio to give the hiring manager more data points to work off of. Start building your network. This will benefit you throughout your career as well. While these things won't guarantee you an offer, they can certainly raise the batting average to give you a better chance. I completely agree with what he just said right here. Is hey, you gotta be proactive, which is the biggest reason as to why I go to a lot of networking events. That's why I try to uh, meet as many people as I possibly can. And, you know, at a certain point, after you have met so many people going through networking, it's time for you to get to work. You know, you got you got to get to work. You got to get some things, some value that you can add uh, to an organization or to a person. You have to have something that you can brag about when you go up to talk to them. So let's see. So this is the post uh, from the Wall Street Journal. Here's the, the title here. Computer science majors graduate into a world of fewer opportunities. Those from top schools can still get jobs. They are just not all going to Facebook or Google. So I found uh, the article here as well. It was posted May 20th, 2024. So let's go through this article right here. It says, computer science is hotter than ever at US universities, but students graduating this month are discovering their degrees are no longer a surefire ticket to tech industry riches. In fact, Many are finding it harder than they ever thought it would be to land a job. Tech giants that were expanding aggressively just a few years ago now have less need for entry level hires or are shedding jobs. And I think one of the biggest reasons why is because they're extremely expensive. Entry level people are expensive to organizations because they have a ramp up time. You have to pay the senior developers in order to kind of get them ready had to handhold them they may make issues or um, make mistakes within production environments and that's all a part of the game if you have never made any mistakes throughout your career you probably haven't been doing anything at all so that's uh that's one of the mindsets of some organizations why it's extremely difficult to get a job as an entry-level engineer they are also increasingly turning their focus to artificial intelligence a technology many feared could reduce the need for coders. Postings on job sites, on job websites, indeed for software development roles, a proxy for computer science have dropped 30% from pre-pandemic levels. At the same time, companies have a burgeoning supply of new grads to choose from. The new the number of students in the U.S. majoring in computer and information science has jumped 40 percent in five years to more than 600,000 as of 2023. The number of bachelor's degrees conferred in those majors topped 100,000 in 2021, according to the Department of Education, a 140 percent rise from 10 years earlier. Students who once had jobs and summer internships lined up by Thanksgiving are now broadening their searches. When I tell people I'm in computer science, they're like, lucky you, you're going to make a lot of money. You can do anything you want, said Ben Rissett, a 22-year-old who graduated this month from Catholic University of America. The truth is, when you start looking right now, it's impossible to get hired. Just a few years ago, Rissett heard constantly that employers needed staff with his skill set. Now his classmates with jobs got them through friends or family or from internships. 
Rissett in Washington, D.C., said he's applied to entry-level roles all over the country and received only a few responses. To be sure, computer science majors from top-tier schools can still get jobs. Pay projected to be about $75,000 is at the high end of majors reviewed by the National Association of Colleges and Employers, or NACE. And this completely counters what a lot of people are saying when they're talking about, hey, you get a six-figure job starting off in three months of getting a, a certification or going to college or whatever it is. Like, it takes a long time to be able to ramp up to six figures. You have to have some work experience. You have to have certifications and credentials behind you in order for it to be a good fit for you to be able to make six figures. They are just not all going to Facebook or Google. Job seekers need to reset their expectations, said Tim Herbert, chief research officer at CompTIA a trade group that follows the tech sector. So CompTIA, if you, have, if you are not aware of CompTIA, they have several different certifications. Their most popular certification that they offer is the A+, the Security+, and the Network+. Plus. Those are the top three most popular certifications that they provide. They provide other ones as well. But um, overall, a lot of people get these certifications in order to help them get an edge to get into the job market. So uh, I know a lot of people who I may link in the description down below who do classes and teach people how to get CompTIA A plus security plus and network player certified. So look forward to the links down in the description down below. New grads may need to adjust where they are willing to work. In some cases, what salary perks or signing bonus they'll receive and the type of firm they'll work for. And while big tech companies are hiring for AI related jobs, Herbert said, many of those positions require more experience than a new grad would have. Salaries for this year's graduates in computer science are expected to be just 2.7% higher than last year's, the smallest increase of eight fields reviewed by NACE. In the past 18 months, job growth has remained flat for software publishers, a group of employers that includes software developers according to the labor department on the student job platform handshake oh i used to love handshake handshake is how i got my first internship i would suggest people use it it says the number of full-time jobs recently posted for tech companies is down 30 percent from the year ago period looking further ahead looking farther i think that's a typo I think that's a typo. It, it should say ahead. <laughs> Jaren Rahman, an information science major who just completed her junior year at Cornell University, had long assumed she would try to land a job at a large tech company as a first generation college student. She thought it was the best path. But Rahman knows lots of seniors who interned at big tech companies last summer and didn't get return offers with the tech industry appearing less stable than she anticipated she started looking elsewhere it made me really stressed out because i know that i have to find a way to support my family she said this summer she'll intern at a real estate investment management firm stephanie johnson a career development lead with the computer science department at the university of north carolina students on average were applying to 150 or more jobs many were still waiting for offers in the spring just a few years ago they might apply for 200 uh, they might apply for 20 or 40 positions and get a final offer in the fall johnson said she has seen more students focused on companies where tech is a service and not the product. She knows two students who were offered roles at big tech companies, but declined. One went to a bank, the other to a retailer. The University of Virginia typically offers a large career fair called Tech Night Takeover, hosting big companies for a night of networking. This year, the school expanded the event to include employers in healthcare, energy, and financial services, hiring for tech roles hand delivered applications the pipeline is bursting with computer science students who will need jobs in the next few years computer and information science is the fastest growing top 20 major in the u.s at 
four-year colleges, according to the National Student Clearinghouse Research Center. It is the fourth most popular major overall between 2018 and 2023. The number of students majoring in computer and information science jumped from about 444,000 to 628,000. Pierce Avner, who just finished his junior year at the University of Colorado Boulder, Boulder, said he applied online for hundreds of internships last year. The majority never responded. Of those that did, many sent back a rejection note within 15 seconds to a minute. This year, he took an old-fashioned route, hand-delivering about 20 applications to tech companies around Denver and Boulder. He sent. He also sent emails to alumni from the Theta Tau Professional Engineering Fraternity. He is set to intern at an aerospace company this summer, one of the employers who he found through his fraternity networking. Alex Giang, a computer science major, who just finished his junior year at Cornell is preparing to start a software engineering internship at a digital advertising company. Applications to Uber, Airbnb, Tesla, Facebook, Apple, and Amazon didn't pan out. Friends are adjusting too. Their new mentality is if you get a job, even if you don't like it, you need to take it because you don't know if you're going to get anything else. All right. So with that being said, that is the article right there. Overall, guys, what do you guys think? Um, in general, I still think that computer science is a great major to get. Um, I think that going to college is very fulfilling. Um, and also, it, it really depends on what type of major you get. Computer science being one of the best majors um, for the return on investment that you'll be able to receive. Engineering in general tends to be a good career path to go down to. So going engineering, I think that that would be fantastic for anybody to be able to get that type of degree. So. Uh, overall, this article, even though it makes it sound like you're not going to be able to get opportunities, I know everything as far as the job market is not looking good right now, but you really have to hit the pavement and get get yourself out there. When I got laid off, I said, I'm going to go to every networking event, every it, just everything I can to be able to meet as many people as possible. And I got more active on social media, all kinds of things. I went into complete overdrive because I knew I needed to get out there and I needed to make a change. I wanted to like, yeah, you can just apply to a whole bunch of jobs and get rejected as many times as you want, but I need to be able to gain leverage. And the only way to gain leverage is to do the job before you get the job. And also be in the room with people who are decision makers and give your opinion, give some value. That is what I've learned in going to these networking events is great, but you also have to get to work. Okay. That being said, guys, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And also hit the bell notification icon if you want to be notified whenever I make new videos on YouTube. I will see you all in the next video. Please go ahead and hit the links down in the description down below to check out the people who do teaching for CompTIA certifications. Also hit the link down below to join the Before the Billions Discord to speak with either me or anybody else within the BTB squad. And also check out the Before the Billions website so that way you can join the newsletter as well. That being said, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Do not forget to build your billions.